Good evening and welcome to Tinkering with Atkelar. My current bigger restoration project is taking up a bit more time than expected, so let's have a smaller one in the meantime. Last year I got myself some old handheld tape recorders, commonly known as dictaphones. The real tape ones are harder to come by every minute. This lot was sold as not working for parts and to people like me that is a challenge. I start off by disassembling all of them at the same time, since they most certainly need new drive belts and I want to save on postage. This video only covers the main unit of the lot, i.e. the one that got me to buy the bunch in the first place. It is a Sanyo TRC3570 and it is the only one of the lot to use mini cassettes instead of micro cassettes. Yes, there was a format war even in this sector. The unit has seen better days. Clearly, the last batteries were leaking. The contacts are corroded with one spring missing and the aluminum part of the housing has some paint etched away and some white gunk inside. Yeah. The battery wires are also in a bad shape. One of them even snapped. After completely disassembling the device, I cleaned up all the chemical spill and tried to resurrect the battery contacts, but the missing spring made that impossible. So I looked around for some similar battery contacts and found a cheap retro style arcade game that I could sacrifice. But the contacts didn't quite fit. <laughs> I ended up using parts from decommissioned garden lights, which were for triple A batteries, not double A. They were a bit on the small side, but at least they fit. And some glue will hold them in place just fine. I repainted the aluminum part with my airbrush. Looking good again. The tape deck mechanism was slightly fiddly to put back together. Again, looking at the disassembly footage helped to identify parts. The belt finally arrived, but it was a smidge too long. I had to settle for one of my stash that just barely clears the mounting studs. I didn't want to order or wait for another package. trying out the tape drive with my power supply. Well, uh, that didn't work. It turns out that the belt was slightly too tight for one of the springs. Luckily enough, I had ordered a grab bag assortment of belts and was able to find a fitting one in there.
some more fiddling, trying to reattach the crust to the sandwich, so to speak, and I finally had a working dictaphone. Even though I ended up with one leftover e-clip and one missing screw. No idea how I managed that. These things don't mutate, do they? Now for the age-old question, why exactly this model? Why, I'm glad you asked, let me show you! This is a Sharp PC 1403H, a pocket computer. I got this in the mid-90s, when they were just about to disappear from shops. It doesn't come with a storage device, but there was an expansion unit called CE126P. I found a new old stock one on eBay. It contains a thermal printer and a cassette tape interface. These old interfaces used microphone, earphone and remote connections. And the Senyo recorder is the only one that I found that comes with all three of these. Lo and behold! Um, please stand by. It took some troubleshooting, but it turns out that the problem was not the devices, but rather the stylish metal plugs I got. The Sanyo has the remote and microphone sockets too close together, so the plugs were touching, shorting out the power supply. Whoops! Here we go again! Success! And this concludes tonight's episode of Tinkering with Atkelar. See you next time! My current bigger restoration project is taking a bit more time than expected, so let's have a smaller one in the meal time. Meal time. <laughs>